Alright there procrastinauts, Mars Pavorian, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we are here, we did two missions at once, we landed two probes on two celestial bodies, the Moon and Mimmus. Uh, today, we are going to be stretching out a little bit further, today we are getting into orbit around Kerbal itself. This should be quite interesting. We don't literally have to get into a tight orbit around the Sun, we just need to get into orbit around the Sun, and the best way to do that is to reach Kerbin Escape. Now. Let me just have a quick looky loo at me uh, missions. Uh, I just wanted to let people know as well that yes, I did notice that the rocket didn't minus my cost yesterday. So what I did is I went back through the video, found out how much the rocket costs, uh, minus that from the grand total, and that leaves us with this right here. Select mission package. I got no configure. Right. Okay. So that's okay. That's all working. <laughs> Excuse me. That's all working today. And now we are down to Cabolo One. So what does Cabolo One give us access to? If we can do Cabalo 1, we can do Vostok, which is our first manned mission, as well as Cabalo 2, which is the Voyager type mission. Technically, what I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, let's keep showing our Kerbal Sphere influence. I wouldn't mind doing this first, you know, like in real life, but we, we can't really do that, I don't think. Cabalo 1, well, I'll just have to do it in order, I suppose. So, select the mission. Go over to me VAB, and I've already got something set up. Where are you? Um, uh, oh, I saved it on the moon sat, didn't I? Derp. Alright, so, okay, let me just double check to see if my satellite is the correct one. Yes, it is! Haha, -ha, nice! It does need some adjustments, though. XC. Um, No, get them out a little bit more, I think. And we need to get some scientific equipment, so I'm going to put the this box on here. I'm also going to put this box on here. On the other side, we're going to have the accelerometer and the thermometer. So the meter is these sides, the box is that side. That'll do. That's all nice and gravy. So I'm going to take this back on. I'm going to put it back in there. Jobs are good, we're ready to launch. So, same thing as always, we're going to launch the bottom piece of the rocket and then we're going to recover it and then we're going to recover this here. Oh, I'll tell you what it doesn't need. I don't need that. Actually, hang on a second, did I not save this? Cabolo 1, yes I did. Derp. I've already got it all set up already, so nice. There we are. That should be completely set up correctly as to how I did it. Yes, there we are. Except the RTGs are on the other side. All right, okay, that's fair enough. That's not so bad. Obviously, because we've got RTGs, we don't need the solar panels, so that's always good news. Save it and launch it. Hmm. Alright, night flight. I don't really like this. Ideally, what I want to be doing is I want to be... Oh, crap. Um. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so... I want to be going up in the daytime and then slowly working ourselves around to the nighttime. Because when the Terminator comes along... Because the Terminator will come along and he will end the world! Uh, what I'll do is I will, you know what, that'll do, that, this'll do. Yeah, I'll start burning outwards around the other side of the turn. Just like I'd be doing if I was doing a Juna burn, but obviously we're not doing that, we're doing something else. Right, thrust all the way up, minimise me far, put the sass on even though we don't have one, and on the count of five, four, three, two, one, ignition. We are going to launch this mission for glory, to discover the Kerbal system. All right. Ah, oh, good times. Right, rocket's tipping. Let's put sensitive steering on as well. Uh, there we go. That should keep us in a nice line. Hopefully I can get this one done quite nicely because piloting this thing is a pain in the backside. Obviously, especially with the fact that there is no sass. I have to be very careful about my movements. Very careful indeed. I know it gets ridiculously hard later on when I'm trying to fly this thing and I'm trying to keep it in a certain angle. It's it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's a shame that the SAS doesn't do what it's supposed to bloody do. It's locked in position, right? You know what? We're getting some height here, so it's time to bring this down a little bit. Bring it down, man. Bring it down. Right, okay. Oh, shit. Got to be careful, man. Don't bring it down that too much. Right. We're coming up to over 5,000 meters in. I'm not down far enough. Right, okay. Let's see how far I can actually throw this over. Even if I do fuck this. Um... I can, I can still uh, 
build another one and send it up regardless. The simple fact is that um, I've got so much wedge, it's coming out of my ears and my little green Kerbal ass. Strange. Strange that wedge is coming out of your ass, but never mind, eh? Come on, like, just point more on the 90. It's important that you do the 90. Uh, okay. If I can keep it going at this kind of level... Oh, actually, no, we need more. Now we're coming up to that fin part. I need more. I need more push. More push, less pull. Okay, here we go. See how fast you can get yourself. 1,200 will be nice. About this height. It would be rather nice. Well, I'll tell you what. I found some good stuff to write about for the weekly this week. Courtesy of PD. Um, now, that's all I'm going to say about that for now. There's some other stuff, announcement-wise, I've got to do in regards to that... that that's Bellend. <laughs> I shouldn't be calling him Bellend, really, but yeah, he won't mind. We're good friends, me and PDR. He's funny. He makes me laugh. And I think he likes my Britishness, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, we're getting really goddamn fast here. Right, so let's send this off and see what we can do about um, building the orbit out quick, smart, because if I'm not quick, that thing may destroy itself on re-entry and that won't be cool won't be cool at all right, let's get some time warp on and see how high we can get ourselves all right whoa 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 forget how twitchy this fucking thing is on time warp right there you go 80 90 100 20 f yeah that'll do and we've got plenty of fuel to carry on with this mission sweet all right so as always we're going to switch to the uh Cabello one Switch to. I'm gonna try and recover this bad boy. Now you see we're going at some rather fast speeds here, and we're quite high up, and we're going to be coming in quite um, steep, I should think. But there's only one way to find out, Mark. So we're gonna get this down. We're gonna see what happens. If this thing does burn up, I don't think I'm too bothered. Like I said, I've got so much wedge, it's 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 coming out of all my holes. All my holes indeed. Right, orbit 1,400. That should, in theory, come down to about 1,200. I really hope it isn't going to cause as many issues though. 1,300. Right, okay. So we're going quite fast here. Ideally, what I need to do is I need to turn level and protect these parachutes from from being hurt, being hurt by the flames. Right, okay. You can be a dick about this, or you can fucking stop twizzling and rotating. Okay, stop twizzling and rotating. Make sure the parachutes do not burn. No, parachutes are burning. God damn it, man. Put your sensitive steering on. Uh, right, okay, the parachutes have not burnt off. That's cool news. Right, just hold yourself, man. Jesus Christ. Right, as soon as we get under 800, parachutes are going out. Alright, let's do it down to 700. Okay, release them, and then this should like get itself down quite nicely, and we saved a bit of money in the process, which is always good. And that thing's not even close to fucking what's it calling yet. Someone said that I should have like slowed down my time warp on the re-entry of the big stage yesterday that delivered the two probes, but to that person I say no, time warp does nothing. It only makes things snap off parachutes every so often. I'll tell you what, man, I just all of a sudden felt really goddamn ill. Okay. Ooh, G forces were quite high. Never mind, we've done it. So that's one stage recovered. Glad I can get down in time anyway. Ah, yes, recoverable space program for the win. Quite like it, in all fairness. Reusable space program, he says. It's not entirely reusable, not in the same sense that Scott Manley's was, but hey, I'm recovering everything, and I've got de deadly re-entry on, which is something I understand he had trouble with. Okay, don't let it tip, recycle, and end flight. Okay, tracking station, we're going to head on over to the probe itself. This is going to be so easy, it's unreal about now. Alright, so, min eccentricity is curbing, curbing. Uh, okay, it's sphere of influence, that's fair enough. Um, now we just need to do some rotations and get ourselves ready to do the main burns. Obviously we're going to be coming across the Terminator soon, so... Da -da 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 -da. 
Come with me if you want to live. Come with me if you want to complete this mission more like. Just get this high up as I can. Right. I can abuse the Oberth effect to some extent. That should be pretty cool. Right, there we are. That should do. And then once we get over there, we'll do some more burnage. And we'll get ourselves on that escape trajectory. See what we can discover. It's always fun. It's always fun indeed. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Right. Give me every bit of thrust that you've got. All the thrust belongs to me. You are the one who is the thrust master, so on so forth. Reference there somewhere. <laughs> okay, so we have got lots and lots of fuel. It's just a case of burn it all. What does our eccentricity have to be around Kerbal? Alright, okay, so is that what we... <laughs> have we really done it? Jesus Christ, that's, that, that's the... Um... Well, that's strange I've got to admit that is quite strange so high finish goal or goal will be completed uh, finish the mission that's more cashish into our pockets ah but notice that it looks roughly the same as what it did last time how much did that actually give us the Kabbalo one I don't know but never mind let's, let's eject this and this can go on its merry way to do its merry things with all its merry parts it's merry engine. Then, if we need to do any adjustments later in a later date, we could probably um, use the ion engine. Or at least that's what I've designed it to do. I can't see a fucking thing, man. Give me the sun. Right, here we are. That's better. All right. Give me the antennas. The antennas. Give me the ants. Oh, what's the? Oh, God damn it. Oh, it's already activated. No wonder. Derp toggle. There we go. So now we've got plenty of power, hopefully, to engage this. God, the, the iron engines in this use so much energy, it's fucking ridiculous. I don't understand why. They need to be scaled down, man, big time. Why, why are you drawing so much energy? Jesus Christ. Oh well, never mind, eh? Off to the Kabbalo system with you. The uh, Kabbalo system, the Kerbal Orbit. Hmm. I do wonder if we could actually get it to maybe perhaps get it out of escape trajectory. To do such things though, I imagine we'd need to slingshot around a planet of some variety, but I don't think I have the skills to do such thing. Right. Space Center. That's another probe in its in its merry merry travel. Right. Speaking of Apollo 01 debris, the terminate. Uh, all that can stay there. Yeah, we've got some, we've got some stuff here, ladies and gents. We've got lots orbiting the sun, indeed, indeed. Yeah, good times. No, not aboard. Jesus Christ, <laughs> get me the hell out of there. So, what's next on the big grand scheme of things? Um, cost me fifty-seven. What did the mission actually give me to launch this rocket? Uh. Open browser window and 85 grand. So, yeah, it didn't really give us much. Um, but we have the Comstock contracts now, so now we can do repeatable missions. That's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. So, what, the, what are these? Um, Gotta leave them in orbit for one year. 65 grand. Um, obviously, I'd have to. 10 grand. What? <coughs> excuse me, man. Excuse me. Makes me want to be sick, that does. 10 grand for building a rocket. Jesus Christ. How much did the original ComSat things cost? Let me, let me have, just have a quick look. Just close this for a second and load up the original ComSat. Give me that. The unreliable is 27 grand for a minimum. A bare minimum for getting something into space. That's fucking scandalous. That needs sorting out big time. I shall write to the mod creator and tell them that that mission is fucking ridiculous. 10 grand. Yep, yeah, what's this one? 
Okay, so let's see, 1,000 meters, 10,000 meters, 280, so 1,000 meters, 10,000 meters, so you could probably, hang on, let me check this again, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, right. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. In all fairness, there's no difference. You could do, you could use the same rocket you did with this mission to do this mission, just like I've used the same fucking Muna rocket. That is scandalous. We probably won't do any of them. Redonkulous. But we have only got like a few missions left, and I need to start implementing the ones I've written, things with a... Uh, uh, before we can do the first manned mission, though, we need to prove that our uh, astronaut is ready and because our first astronaut out of the door will be Jeb we do need some good parts some testing facilities to test him with uh, g-force training uh, anti-grav training stuff like that hmm this should be interesting I wonder if I could write missions for doing such things I'll have to leave that and come back to it. Again, this has probably been another one of those short episodes. It was a dead quick one. I probably could do and co go and do Cabolo 2, but I really can't be bothered at the same time. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've liked this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. And for the love of God, if you're going to go into the comment section, for fuck's sake, stop with the binary shit. In fact, stop with the comments that I just like that. I'm, they are so... Nobody wants to see that shit. And when I come into my up uh, my comment section, I want to see things like general questions that are being asked about the series, or, or comments about the series, and not fucking zeros and ones. Turn turn your ones to zeros and turn that shit off, mate. Don't let me catch you doing pointless comments like that again. You know who you are, Bender Rodriguez. You started it all. But yeah. Anyway, enough about that. I'll catch you all in a bit, people. <laughs> Peace out.